Good day, everyone. I'm Dr. Crisanto Lopez from the Department of Biology of Ateneo de Manila University. And on behalf of my project team members, I would like to present to you our program entitled The Establishment of the Integrated Protein Research and Development Center, a Biotechnology Facility for Health, or IPRDC. It is under the niche centers in the regions for research and development, or NICER, for the National Capital Region. We were inspired to propose the IPRDC due to the difficulty of conducting research about COVID-19 and developing diagnostics for the said pandemic. The pandemic has shown that existing protein research and development supply chains are fragile and have caused delays in the ability of our researchers to conduct the necessary R&D for the nation's crisis response. Even without the extraordinary disruption due to the pandemic, biology R&D supply chains are expensive and slow causing our Filipino biotechnology companies and researchers to be bottlenecked by lack of equipment and supplies necessary to conduct day-to-day -day operations. The cost of the agents have also made it difficult to train the next generation of Filipino scientists capable of taking advantage of the new advances in the field of biotechnology. To strengthen our Filipino scientists' ability to contribute to the future of biotechnology in our nation, the IPRDC will conduct R&D on the manufacture of critical proteins and enzymes necessary for the expansion of R&D, education, and industry. Through the four component projects, the IPRDC will create low-cost enzymes critical for molecular biology diagnostics, develop methods for increasing their production to national scale, design equipment for future protein production for all researchers, and synthesize the materials required for the processing and purification. We hope that the IPRDC program will catalyze and support the growing field, enable equitable access for science education and research, and pave the way for local manufacturing of affordable products in health, agriculture, and food. IPRDC has four component projects with the overall program goal of establishing the capability of the Philippines to conduct R&D and manufacturing of healthcare critical proteins. The program and its four component projects are intended to run in parallel with each other but will integrate together at the final stages. Project 1 is the enzyme production, cloning, expression, characterization, and small-scale fermentation. It is the project aimed to develop protein production capacity at the bench scale of 1 liter batches of protein enzyme culture using commercially available tools and reagents. Project 2 is the scaling up and optimization of protein production. It is focused on scaling the production and increasing biomass yield. Specifically, it aims to develop the processes and methods to grow the strains at 1, 5, 10 liter volume scales initially using commercial bioreactors and supplies. Project 3 is building open source instrumentation for fermentation and protein purification, while Project 4 is the development of chemical tools and materials for protein purification. The two projects are designed to support the bottlenecks in scaling these processes, not just in the center but being able to distribute these technologies to other researchers. These are, first, to create open source bioreactors, second, the production of FPLC, and the third are the resins and overall protein purification technology. Various projects have been completed in the Ateneo de Manila University that serve as precedents for the objectives of IPRDC. Prototypes for chromatographic systems have been developed as part of previous projects of the proponents. A bioreactor is currently being designed with support from Ateneo internal funding. Similarly, the technology of microfluidics that is to be used for microbial synthesis is being established within the university as part of a growing DOSD PCHRB funded project. Most importantly, the first batch of high quality functional proteins, equal to the amount required for 150,000 tests and with a value of 2 million pesos, have already been produced with performance as good as the gold standard in a SARS CoV 2 test and with the potential to be scaled up as part of the IPRDC. It is of note that these were performed by both graduate and undergraduate students illustrating the feasibility and accessibility of the endeavor and the potential for training future biomolecular researchers. Success of the IPRDC program will be hinged on forging successful partnerships with potential technology takers and institutions that are willing to contribute expertise in achieving project objectives. The IPRDC has a number of cooperating agencies and partners from industry, academe, and health, both public and private, locally, and internationally. Just as the IPRDC is built in the principle of realizing interdisciplinary synergies between biology, chemistry, and engineering, 
It can similarly foster intersectoral synergies between education, research and development, and the ultimate clinical and commercial uses by reaching out directly to high schools and HEIs, providing them with low or low-cost molecular reagents for beta testing and end-user feedback. The team foresees that this will stimulate many interinstitutional collaborations and enable many more young biomolecular scientists to develop skills in an interest in biomolecular science. Strategically, expansion of this grassroots foundation drives more biomolecular R&D, which drives more demand and enabling yet further economies of scale. From vicious cycle to a virtuous one.